extraterrestrials have their place, and I've met a few. But you don't have to leave this planet to tell a good story. Oh, it looks like I've got a package. Let's see who it's from. Oh, it's from Doug Chermack. All right, I wonder what's in this package from Doug. I'm going to open it up and see. Oh, that one's fuzzy. Oh, hey, Jen, what's up? It's me, Doug. Oh, hey, Doug. What are you doing? Oh, I just wanted to come and say hi and see if you do a puppet show for my Sheva Bracha on Zoom. Oh, sure. I mean, I don't really have time to do a whole big, long, drawn-out thing because, you know, all the pandemic parenting, but... I can do something little for you, maybe like a little puppet thing on Zoom. That would be awesome. And hey, let's go to Nick's. Most times, real life doesn't measure up to what's in our heads. But every now and then, it comes pretty close. You happen to catch me in one of those rarefied moments. So if it's all the same to you, I'll stick with real life for a spell. Top of the morning to you, Doug. It's me, Mick Mickleby, the character from Harry Potter, only known to you. Mick, dude, what are you doing here? I didn't even invite most of my friends to my wedding. Is this all in my mind? Who knows? Here is my advice. Here are the magic words that you can say if you get into a duel with Aya. Here they are. <coughs> Aya, I'm sorry. You were correct. And now, if that doesn't work, you can use your magic wand and charm her. Or... You can distract her with this snitch. Hi, oh, Doug, it's me. That sandwich you ate yesterday. Good old American sandwich. I know I bet you're hungry. You're at your chuppah right now, and you probably didn't eat any breakfast. Anyhow, I got some advice for you on the whole of matrimony. That's right, well, my first advice is keep it kosher, and I know that's gonna be pretty hard in Phila. Yet, yeah, welcome to Phila. All those Philly cheese steaks, sandwiches, all good and yummy. So yeah, with the marriage, keep it kosher, trust the process, and mmm, 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 what are you going to have for lunch today, hmm? Well, one moment early on in our relationship, I guess it was the second date. We were playing a game and then necking while listening to some music. I had Joni Mitchell album on, which then turned into a playlist based on that album. I noticed all the lyrics were about falling in love. And in some situations, I could see feeling uncomfortable with all those lyrics, but with Aya, it just seemed right. And then she slept peacefully, cradled in my arms all night. It was magical. I was very surprised because we'd known each other peripherally for years, but hardly ever interacted. And then he also did this really weird thing on our first date where he had already invited Danny Farkas over that night to watch Game of Thrones. Oh, 
it was pretty awkward, but Danny left pretty quick after the Game of Thrones episode ended. And that's when we had our first kiss. And Doug went from being that funny guy that everyone thought I should be into to being my beloved. And then on our second date, I think it was our second date, we were listening to that song by Joni Mitchell. That song, you know, help me, I think I'm, you know, the one. And we looked into each other's eyes it was a really intense moment. He helps me feel anchored out in the extroverted spaces and I can help him find stillness. He does beautiful work in the world, takes incredible care of his body, which helps me to do so with mine and lets me be just as big ambitious and sensitive as I am, and is never threatened by my power. I really like the way she communicates, both with her words and her facial expressions. I like how she's so sweet and tender, and also mature and confident in her own way. I like how much she loves and accepts me and continually shows me this. I also really love doing our nightly rituals of offering gratitudes to each other and to something beyond ourselves. I know he will keep surprising me and keep me laughing for the rest of my life. And you know what? He is so much softer than most people know. And all your kiddos adore him. I love that. To life, Lechaim. Lechaim, Lechaim, to life. Life has a way of confusing us, blessing and bruising us. Drink Lechaim to life. God would like us to be joyful, even when our hearts lie panting on the floor. 